Hello writers, come write with me. My name is Michaela Greenwood. I create worlds for mind adventures. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Write with Michaela. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can go on this journey with me. This is my first video, so today I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and my hopes for us in this channel. I'm a writer and I have been since my youth. When I was in grade school, I wrote stories for my friends and my friends enjoyed them. I knew nothing about plot or theme or protagonist. I just wrote. I imagined things, wrote them down. Now, if I go back and read those stories, I would call them stupid. A child, or at least me as a child, didn't have any worldly views or knowledge. There were no antagonists in the story. Just me and friends and horses and nine stories, spaceships, and maybe some dinosaurs. It was fun stuff for me and my friends. A couple of friends came over. We would climb the slide of the swing set and jump off the other side into one of the worlds of my imaginings. Of course, there were no video games, so we just played. I built a house in my backyard with rows of fallen leaves. I would rake the leaves together to be walls, and we had rooms, and we could hide from the dinosaurs in this house. It was fun. Then, once I was in college, I read the foreword, or the acknowledgments, from Tracy Hickman and Margaret Reese in their Dragonlance series. They said thank you to Tolkien for his starting the genre of fantasy adventure, and Tolkien was the reason they decided to write. Well, their foreword, or acknowledgment, helped me decide to pick up writing again. I still didn't know about plot or any other literary jargon. But at that point, which was sometime before 1991 and before graduating college, I decided I wanted to be a writer. That's what you do in college, right? Decide what you want to do with your life. So I wanted to write. I've written on and off since then. And I have a lot of fun writing. I mean, in no other profession do you get to create anything and everything you want. With writing, the writer gets to create the characters, the characters' motives, the scenery, the weather. The writer gets to decide the genre, which we'll discuss in another video, the theme, the plot, just everything. You can put yourself in the story or anyone else that you meet or see, you can put in your story. Maybe you like one person's smile and you like another person's eyes. Well, you can put them together to create your character. Every day in your story can be a rainy day or a sunny day or a perfect mix of both literally or figuratively. Writing is a dream job. You dream, you write, and everything you want comes to be on the written or the topped page. Your protagonist can go it alone. Or they can find a perfect mate. The perfect mate might be somebody supportive like Sam in The Lord of the Rings. Sam was very helpful to Frodo and he, he was that support that Frodo needed to continue. Or your, your helping character could be somebody that challenges your main character like Kate in The Cutting Edge. And so as a writer, the choices are yours. Now, that's not to say your choices are random, but the choices make the fun. Back to about me. I have several books complete. I'm not yet published. Big emphasis on yet. Getting published is the most awesome dream. Unless a published book becomes a movie. That would put me way above cloud nine. In the meantime... I'm creating this channel so that I can share my love of writing with others. This idea started when my children were young, but old enough to write before YouTube. My children and I wrote together and did chapter exchanges. And it was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I wrote out a plot for them to work on in the summer. And we worked on the plot for several summers in a row. Now, I will even say that Though a plot is basically a series of events, my story and my children's stories were drastically different. And that was fun too. I really enjoyed reading their chapters. 
In the next episode, I will give you this plot that I shared with my children, and we will work on it together. For the chapter exchange, I've set up an email, writewithmckella at gmail.com, where you can send me your chapters. For me to be able to read it on the channel, I will need written permission from you to read your material, if I choose to read it there. And you will have to understand that somebody listening may love your idea. Of course, I, I will state that you or your pen name, your fictitious name, has copyright privilege, you know. But I can't promise nobody will use it. I just can't promise that. Um, hopefully they won't. Hopefully they'll respect it. Hopefully they will come and write with us as well. Um, if you are a minor, your parent or guardian will ha also have to give permission and you will need a pen or fictitious name. I'm not going to read a, a minor's work without a pen name just to protect the minors. Back to me. I mostly write fantasy or fantasy adventure. I've dabbled in science fiction, but for me that's harder. I had some ideas of future things, but the boom! Those things are a reality before I get published. An example, I wrote about a device on the table at restaurants where you could order and pay for food. Then Chili's and Red Robins both have them. So the futuristic part that I imagined wasn't far enough in the future. Oh well. I have, I have aliens in that series to make it science fiction. And I still have fun writing it. And I will have fun completing it. So how I envision this challenge, this channel, is on Tuesdays, we will have some definitions of jargon at first, how we can pay attention to it, and then later we'll have writing prompts. I will give a prompt, you can pause the video, write a paragraph or a page, plus press play again, and I'll read what I wrote for the prompt. Tuesdays are going to be important because it will help us to become better writers and give us ideas to incorporate into our stories. The writing prompts should be fun as well. And I see no reason why you shouldn't send in the writing prompts as well if you choose to do so. So again, that, that email is writewithmckella at gmail.com. On a Tuesday after the jargon, we will also talk about observations. People tell me all the time that they can't write. But if you can observe things around you and put it into words, then you can write. If you ever had your speech in your head several times before you said it, and possible responses from the other person, then you can write. Some people sit down and look at a blank page. They say, I can't write. My mind is blank. But it isn't the page you should be looking at. Look around you. Look. Watch the person in front of you in line. Glance behind you. Watch how the people move. Listen to them talk. See their clothes, their hair. Look if they stand tall or if they slouch. You can, if you can note these things down, these types of details, then you can write. Describe their facial expressions. Are they happy or sad? You know, if you can guess what they're thinking based on that, then you can do that. If you can do that, you can write. When we uh, talk about observations, we will briefly discuss how different people would view the same scene, say a mother and a daughter, or two twin brothers. All these people have different backgrounds, and thus they will view things differently. We as writers need to know that. We also will talk about the senses, your, your sight, your smell, your taste, your hearing, your touch. All of these things are important and they affect your writing and they affect how readers might react. Of course, that is the plan. I'm new to YouTube, so we'll see how it goes. On Fridays, we'll work with plot one. So Tuesdays, jargon and writing prompts. And then Fridays are with the plot one for the chapter exchange. I have a rough draft of plot one written as a story and I call the story City of the Ancients. This Friday, I will read the basic plot to you and we'll go over how to use the plot. The following Friday, I will read my chapter one. I plan to record several videos 
before I release them. So the chapter exchange portion may come several weeks later, or it may be a second video released on Fridays. We'll see how to work that out. Fridays are more story hour, but of course it won't be an hour. I will try to keep the videos around 15 minutes. Story time might run a little longer. Let me know in the comments how much time is too long or too short. Even if you don't aspire to having a book published like I do, writing can be a lot of fun. You can escape your life to a fantasy you write. So join me on this YouTube channel, Write with Michaela, and we will write together. Leave a comment below on when you started writing, even if it was today, okay? When you were little, when you were in college, when you were in high school, today. Just leave that in the comments. In next Tuesday's episode, we will talk about literary jar jargon. We'll talk about the protagonist and antagonist. Not that I'm a professor or an expert, but just so you know that there are some terms out there to pay attention to. Maybe during editing, <laughs> not creating. And to at least know about these things and think about these things. Again, I'm not published, and once I am, I may say a few things differently about jargon. Again, in episode two, Friday's episode, I plan on giving you plot one. I will list out all the elements and then discuss things. Hopefully, I can ta attach a PDF for you to download. But if not, then you can pause the video and drop down the items. Or you can email me at writewithmichaela at gmail.com and request a PDF of Plot 1. And I, I will happily send it to you. It's ready to go. Uh, in Episode 4 and 6 and even numbers of Fridays, I plan to read my chapters 1, 2, 3, etc. I also hope some of you will send me your chapters as a PDF or Word document to read. That will be so fun. You are not going to imagine things as I do, and I'm not going to imagine things as you do. But that, that is the fun. When we see how we take this event or whatever that happens in the plot, and then we both write it and we're like, this isn't the same story. It's going to be fun. Um... I will need written permission to read it on the channel, and I will state things about copyright protection of my work and your work before I read chapters. This is going to be fun. I'll see you on Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so we can keep writing together. Also soon, my website, www.bymichaela.com, will be up. I was trying to do that on my own, but the last time I went in, all my links were broken. So I hired a professional. I'll let you know when it's ready. On my website, I have some character bios or biographies of the characters on there from my Miyacha series, which is a, a different story from the one we are reading together. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your participation. If you know someone who would like this video, then please share it with them. This is Michaela with Write with Michaela. Bye for now.